Welcome to the tutorial on the three different kinds of measuring instruments, which are the micrometer screw gauge, the vernier caliper, and the eureka can. Before we start, a reminder is that you should prevent parallax errors. The first instrument will be the micrometer screw gauge, where we will be using it to find the volume and density of a 50 cent coin. The micrometer has a precision of 0.01 mm. In order to find the volume, we will find the diameter and thickness of the coin. As we can see here, since the zero error of micrometer screw gauge is zero, we can hence proceed with the measurement. We will first put the coin horizontally between the anvil and swindle and turn the thimble until the coin is tightly secured between the anvil and swindle in order to find the diameter of the coin. We also need to turn the ratchet until it clicks. To achieve the measurements, we take the readings from the main scale which is currently 24.5 mm as each division of the main scale is 0.5 mm. Next, we'll add the reading from the main scale with the readings on the timber scale. The current value of the timber scale is 0.15 mm because the number on the timber scale is used to times 0.01 mm and since the timber scale has 50 divisions with each being 0.01 mm. Hence, the total diameter is 24.65 mm. However, we have to repeat the previous steps two more times in order to find the average diameter. Next, we will repeat the same steps to find the thickness of the coin, but we will have to put the coin vertically between the anvil and swindle. The reading of the thickness is 2.3 mm. Similarly to the diameter, we have to repeat the steps two more times to find the average thickness. Next, we shall proceed with finding the total volume, which is as follows. Finally, we will find the density of the coin by taking the mass. Divided by the volume, which shows that the density is 6.5. 55 gram per cm3. The second instrument that we will be using is the Eureka can, also known as the overflow jar. We will be using the Eureka can to find the volume of an eraser. Firstly, fill the Eureka can on the flat surface to the point just below the spout. Next, place a meshing cylinder under the spout of the can to catch the overflowing water when the eraser is placed into the can. We will gently lower the eraser into the Eureka can, ensuring no water splashes to prevent any accuracy disputes and check that the eraser is fully submerged into the water. Finally, check that the volume of water has been displaced by the eraser by looking directly at the point under the meniscus of the water from the measuring cylinder. The volume of water in the measuring cylinder is the volume of the eraser, in this case 5 cm3. Repeat the previous steps two more times to find the average volume, allowing readings to be more accurate. Finally, we'll find the density of the eraser by taking its mass divided by its average volume and the density of the eraser is hence 2.6 gram per cm3. Lastly, we will be using the vernier caliper which has a precision of 0.1mm to measure the volume of the notepad. Since the vernier caliper has no zero error, we can proceed with the measurements. Firstly, open the outside jaw and grip the notepad horizontally to find its length. Next, read the main scale directly opposite the zero scale of the vernier scale. In this case, the reading on the main scale is 50mm. Next, we will look at the vernier scale to look at which marking on it coincides with the markings on the main scale. The value of the marking will have to, will have to times 0.1mm. As for the notepad, the value on the vernier scale is 0.2mm. Finally, the length is found by adding the values of the vernier and main scales, which for the notepad is 50.2mm. We will repeat the measurements two more times at different positions to find the average length. Next, 
repeat the previous steps but with the notepad's breath being measured and we will need to do it 3 times to find the average. We will also repeat the previous steps again to find the notepad's height and repeat it thrice to find the average. And finally the volume of the notepad is as follow. We will then find the density of the notepad by taking its mass to divide by its volume and the density of the notepad is 0.781 grams per cm cube. This is the end of our tutorial. We hope that you have learned more on how to use the micrometer screw gauge, the vernier caliper and the Eureka cap.